In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the nudge amount in Adobe Illustrator. But before we get started, please take a minute to subscribe. So have you ever been in this situation? You're working on a flat, you reflect the sleeve to the other side, and it just doesn't line up. So here's what I'm talking about. I'll select the sleeve, click on O to reflect, Alt or Option click on the center guide, vertical, and copy. And if we look at the sleeve over here, you can see that it didn't line up exactly the way I wanted it to. It's off just a little bit. And it could be off more than that, but in this case, not too terrible. So how do we fix it? Well, we usually select it, grab one of the nudge arrows on the keyboard and nudge it over. But notice what happened now. It's too big going in the other direction out of alignment and it's thickened this line in here because we're seeing it kind of double. So we're still not in the right place. And there's not much I can do because the nudge is gonna either bring it in too close or move it out too far. The solution is to change the amount of the nudge, and it's very easy to do. We're going to go into Preferences, and you can do that by clicking Command-K or Control-K, and it will open up the Preferences, and of course it opened it up on my other screen, but here it is. We're going to stay in the window that opened up, which is General for Preferences, and you'll notice right up on top there is a keyboard increment setting. And by default, it is set to one point. And when you open up this window, they've already highlighted it for you. So all I need to do is type in a new number. And you'll notice this is set to points. So I'm going to type in point one point instead of one point, which was the default, which means now my nudge is going to be 10% of the size of the original nudge. Let me click OK. And now if I use my arrow key to nudge, I can move it in very tiny increments until it is perfectly aligned with my armhole. Now, if I need it to move faster in another situation, I can still do that. If you hold the shift key uh, while you're using your nudge, it will multiply the nudge amount by 10 times. It goes back to the one point nudge. So that's the way I adjust my nudge to have a lot of control when manipulating objects around my artboard. If you learned something new, please give this video a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel.